Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video for Spiegel Mom Scraps. Today I'm using the beautiful Sierra Nevada sequence mix from the April release. Today I, I wanted to really highlight the different colors in the sequence. It has purples and these oranges and pinks and gold and they just really are so sparkly so I pulled out the new day collection by dear Lizzie and I thought some of that would work nicely so first I pulled out a solid colored cardstock I apologize I do not know what color it is um, and added some Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine um, to brighten up my background. And then I found um, this Paige Evans cut file. This was only three layers of the heart, but it has several other layers. It was actually um, a freebie from um, Scrapbooks. And cards today blog I believe um, so next I put a, a purple mat around my photo that is my senior picture class of 1995 holy smokes I'm getting old um, I wanted to bring that purple back in because um, there's really not that deep purple in the collection but I thought everything else worked so well. So I have the background purple and then I have one of my layers on my photo behind my photo that's purple that I, I think um, I think works well. So I um, I also put a, a piece of vellum behind my photo also. Here I'm just trying to stack my hearts. <laughs> evenly I mean I really really should have put more effort into it but I think I did okay I did put some foam on the first heart just to give it a little more dimension but I thought the uh, the pattern papers worked well together so I'm just sticking a few things down and I find that cute little tag that I think also works nice um, for a layer behind my photo. And you saw I just cut that tag in half. I think it's a great way to uh, help help use up um, your die cuts. Just use them how you need them. And I, I thought the layer would be nice on both sides. So I cut that tag right in half. <laughs> that llama is so cute. I wanted to use it, but it looked like a very smart llama. And I wasn't exactly a uh, top of the class or anything. Not going to lie. Some, some things I struggled with. <laughs> So I think so far it looks great. I love the gold splatters. I, I, I could tell there's gold on the pattern paper. There's plenty of layers on my photo. Here I'm just going through seeing what else I could use around my photo. I um. I actually end up going very simple because I want the sequence to shine. I find that little, it's like a orangish, orangish, orangish little tag that says positive with a little plant. And I use him 
right under my picture. And then I really like that um, pom-pom, that little pom-pom card. Um, so I thought I'd use that for some journaling. I am... Um, <laughs> I was not sure what to say. I mean, that was a long time ago. I had to give it a minute. And actually, in the the end pictures, I still have it blank. Um, but hopefully, hopefully I fill it in. And then I also like that be kind little tag. So I stick that right up on top. I give it a little shaggy edge look. And I do um, pop it up. Now comes the best part. The sequence. And I I want to do another heart layer so I glue those puppies right in a row and just go just go for it I um, I do about 10 dots of glue and um, and I don't really I don't really pay attention to what's what I'm what I'm trying to pick next um, you know I try not to do too many oranges in a row or too many purples in a row just um, just give it a good mix and what I what I'm doing is wiping the excess glue on my shirt if <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm doing with it <laughs> When I when I bring it closer to me, um, that that's what I'm doing. I'm wiping the excess glue, um, so it could it could stay sticky. And there, there it is. There's all that beautiful sequence all the way around the heart. It turned out so lovely. And then I just had to add some white splatters. And then of course. I added white splatters right to my picture. Ugh. And of course, there was no getting them up. Rookie mistake. But um, but I love I love how it turned out. So please go to the shop. See what sequence you need, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.